Hola amigos, it's Oscar here with another video. <laughs> so in this one I want to talk to you about um, how each home inspection can be different and almost like customized. And it all depends on the on the client. Um, starting off with a first time home buyer. Uh, an inspection for a first time home buyer can be a little bit lengthy. I almost got um, taken by my side and, and give them... Uh, lots of detail and explanation of how uh, certain about certain items in their home for example like the main water shut off how to where it is and what to do if there's a leak in your house um, the gas shut offs for your furnaces how to adjust the temperature in your hot water tank things like that like um, how to winterize the the pipes that go outside your home things that people have never had to deal with. So I make sure that I take more time with them and explain things that they're gonna be needing if in case of an emergency or, or how to maintain it, how to change the filter in their furnace, uh, things like that. So a lot more detail and, and I also explain to them in a very simple and easy to understand way. Then you have clients that have bought multiple homes in the past uh, they still need some detail information about uh, this particular house that they're buying, but I don't need to go in as much detail as a first time home buyer. I can just tell them the where certain things are and straight to the the conditions and any defects that I might find. Another type of inspection would be I've done an inspection for electricians before and even right from the start, they've told me, like, don't even bother checking any of the electrical because they'll most likely be redoing it, uh, most of it and whatnot. And what that means to me is, like, not to not check it because it's still part of my job and, and part of the report. But what that means to me is that if I find anything, I can just put it in the report, quickly mention it to the client, and move on. We don't need to spend so much detail. The unexperienced home buyer like that um, is very specific on the things that they they're looking for out of the inspection, and I make sure I deliver on that and take extra time with those those things. And then the little things, just quickly mention it, put it in the report, and that's it. And then, in a way, like the the easiest one, but it's probably the, a buyer that's looking for an investment property. At the end of the day. What they're looking for is the bare minimum. Uh, they're looking to see how much money they're going to have to reinvest in the property and how soon they can start making money. Um, their main concerns are the roof and the foundation. Uh, most of the time, the furnace and the water heater are rented. So even if there's some slight issue, they'll try and uh, get away with it as long as they can and then just get it replaced um, with another rental unit. So that's kind of the differences between each inspection. I try and cater to, to the needs of each customer, make sure I'm not wasting their time. And um, what's custom about it is the actual inspection because once I go and do the report, that's pretty standard. Um, I always give them the same level of service because that's gonna be always there as a reference for them in the future. But during the inspection, I try to customize it and cater to their needs to kind of move the process a little bit faster and and not uh, bore them with too much information if they're already an experienced uh, client. So that's all. This is Oscar, Justin Realty Inspections.